Hi, this is Chuck Alexander from the Harris Broadcast Division. We're very pleased to have won a Pick Hit Award from Radio Magazine in 2012 for our Intraplex IP-Link 100. The IP-Link 100 is an audio codec providing a single stereo audio bidirectionally across multiple IP networks. A distinguishing factor of the IP-Link is its ability to encode audio in multiple encoding formats simultaneously. As many as four different audio codecs can be used at the same time. For example, this would allow you to send a high definition audio uh, signal to your station at the same time as an MPEG-3 stream into the internet. Or perhaps you'd have two separate IP paths from the studio to your transmitter site. You could have high bitrate linear uncompressed audio over your main IP path at the same time providing perhaps an AAC compressed uh, lower bitrate version of the audio over a backup IP path, perhaps a DSL service at lower monthly cost. Then if the primary path fails, of course, we'd fall back to the secondary path. And with high efficiency AAC, the audio quality is almost the same when you switch to the backup. And finally, in the case if you've lost all your paths from studio to transmitter, the IP link will fall back to a variety of local sources at the transmitter site. You can plug a uh, USB stick into the back of the device with recorded audio in case of uh, failure of IP traffic into the site. You can also take, accept audio into the local inputs at the transmitter device. That again could be playing from a device at the transmitter site or be coming from a, a third backup circuit. So uh, the IP link guarantees audio on air, always on. We're looking at the web-based graphical user interface for the IP-Link 100 located at our simulated transmitter location. The IP-Link is receiving two different IP streams from the studio, represented by these green boxes. The top stream is an uncompressed audio stream running at about 1.5 megabits per second. This bottom stream is the AAC high efficiency stream at about 64 kilobits per second. The GUI shows us that both these streams are being received in good condition and the system is playing out as indicated by this arrow, the received uh, linear stream. If we break the IP network, so this is simulating the failure of an IP system, the line is dropped down to the bottom and indicated that we're now playing out audio from the backup high efficiency AAC stream. And you see the system's telling us that the mainstream is bad, it's in alarm. Furthermore, if we break the backup circuit, now it can't play out that stream either, and it's gone to its local input. And this means that both of its incoming streams are bad, but we still have program on the air based on locally fed audio at the remote site, either from a local hard disk system or from a, a memory stick plugged into the IP link itself. Again, I'd like to thank uh, Radio Magazine for awarding us the Pick Hit Award for 2012.